Considering football as a high intensity uh, demanding contact sport, this is a very challenging situation to all of us. So this is we are facing for the first time. And of course, uh, it is such a sport where if we go for 10 days off, your body goes into deconditioning. Uh, your body needs to be, you know, challenged in different systems. So it, the physiological systems are differently challenged in a particular game like football. So when the off season comes, uh, it's a basic foundation period. Like after they do their recreation, they go back home after the season and then they slowly again in this modern uh, fitness and uh, world of uh, updated you know research and studies so they know professional players they know how to do it but since this is such a long period of gap uh, this is really challenging and all their systems are not been optimally challenged and maintained we try to utilize this uh, two and a half weeks of quarantine we did a uh, lot of uh, studies for each and every player through group calls and video calls and individual calls and we saw that uh, some of them they did quite a good amount of strength work some of them they didn't have access so likewise we have segregated and we have made few groups so we are putting them into the particular groups and obviously we are trying to make a proper program and we are trying to work on that but obviously we all have received a particular guidelines uh, which has been uh, given from the league and uh, that is the basic we have been refreshing always and uh, it's, it's always you know getting discussed among our staffs and being a part of the medical staff it is our responsibility to keep on reminding each and every one of the group of course the sanitization like uh, if you consider the transport that's the first thing comes where all the touch points seats the front and back of the vehicles uh, we are sanitizing we are uh, doing the fumigation with virex that has been thoroughly checked by our manager and even the cco is also helping us with that then again when the for example, when the team bus comes back uh, to the hotel, again one uh, re-sanitization of all the parts which is exposed and again make sure like uh, all the disposables like the gloves and the masks are into the proper disposable uh, bins and stuff like that. So we have to go beyond our responsibilities, the job specification responsibilities and I'm lucky, lucky to have you know guys amongst us who are helping. That is the way we are doing it and of course uh, gym sessions again it is a very challenging thing uh, enclosed area so there also obviously half an hour prior to that our cco and us uh, we always monitor that uh, whether each and everything all the touch points the grab rails of the treadmills all the cardio uh, equipments then the bars and the plates they are properly sanitized and fumigation is done or not we are uh, splitting the batches into you know very small groups and it's a bit hectic for us but safety is the most important for our players and us i have i have counted a lot of positive aspects from the first week of training the players they are quite enthusiastic to prove themselves from day one it's a new project and uh, everyone is very hungry and they really want to perform we are trying to monitor their response like after every training sessions how they are feeling maybe they'll feel good because they are fresh after a long time but we are trying to take all the precautionary measures and uh, to see whether they are not exerting more or obviously uh, it's going into a situation where they can you know get prone to injury before the season kicks off so now now it's a it's a larger group uh, we as a sports physio we work in close contact with each and every player so it's a very challenging job for us and our medical team also has a lot of responsibilities so to manage a full group again it is a challenge i hope uh, it should go on well for the next week as well because uh, our team also is a great uh, team as a medical team wise if you see so the doctor and everyone is going beyond their job responsibility and helping the players and staff the other department members also are stepping in to help us that whole uh, week of quarantine and isolation we we utilized for a lot of briefings and meetings so that uh, this should not be a problem when things are rolling on in a practical uh, scenario the last week it has been uh, hectic like anything but it was it was good 
thankfully uh, it went well from training point of view from fitness and injury point of view nothing unusual so uh, very excited for the coming weeks as well